its replacement for mortality. They belong to Nalfazan now, following his orders unquestioningly until they become either successful or, or dead. Again. Forgo, it appears as though you've been wounded. Here. Uh, that is a butt of flesh wound. Eat this apple, for everybody knows that eating food will heal your hit points. It is the truth! I don't like apples for some reason. Yeah. You can not eat an apple. It's a bloody apple. They're good, they're tasty, they're nutritious. I don't eat apples, so screw you. Put it in your mouth! How do you not like it? Mmm, <laughs> that smells so good. Take a bite out of the gotcha! <laughs> Alright, fine. Then we must hurry. On the contrary, we should take caution, for we are nearly there. alone, Nalfazan could raise a massive legion. Each fallen warrior becomes a breathless addition to his decaying army. A formable legion indeed. What happens next? Silly Borgo, thou hast not thy senses about you. When the Necromaster does attack, he'll do it to the lands west of you, your starship. There, he shall likely consolidate his power before spelling a grievous blow upon the havens. He favors a quick attack with lesser attacks, then bringing in powerful vampires and ghost lords to flank the embattled foes. Elixir War will be besieged and will fall. One thing is for certain our time of trial is before us. Behold the secret entrance to Nalthazan's lair! Great, so uh, how do we get in? Wait... There's an inscription on the doorway. But I can't make out what the writing is. It looks like ancient draconic. Something about, I can see up your skirt? That's the easiest riddle to open a door I've ever seen. I don't know about this. Keep a stout heart, Porgo, for even the slightest fear will be our downfall in this dismal place. Dear Lord, guide us through the perils which we are about to face. May our arms strike true and our foes miss. And if one of us must die, O oh Lord, let it be a pleasant and gloriful death. Let not my brains to be forcefully removed from my nostrils by a large tentacled beast. Also let not mine enemies light me on fire, dismember, strangle, crush, maim, poison, liquidate, or electrocute me. O oh Lord, let not mine eyes be ripped out slowly whilst my enemies hang me upside down and bleed me to death, or my vital organs to be torn from my chest and force-fed unto me. And let not parasitic insects be impregnated in my stomach, only to slowly devour me from within. All these things I ask in your name, O oh Lord. All right, guys, let's go. The lights are already lit. Yes, they are awaiting our arrival. I think I hear something.
boost. Stop being silly, Porgo. That's complete cock and bull. <laughs> Sheesh, stupid elves. Have you ever noticed that the first room in every dungeon is always 30 feet by 30 feet? I guess so. Why do you suppose that is? Probably has something to do with the structural stability. See, if I were designing dungeons, I'd put all the guys in the first room. Time for you to die, mortals! Attack, zombie ninjas! I should cross class in Paladin. I doth not think so. Come on. not step there if I was you. Who drops sacks of onions on people? Well that would have sucked. Yes, it would. What in thine hell? It's freaking locked! Odd that Nalthazan would go through such trouble to protect an empty room. Indeed. Perhaps we have overlooked something? There must be a lever somewhere. Sir Cog, for this apparition would have attacked us by now if it had malintent. What is it? 